Welcome to Autodesk Maya 2017. In this tutorial we're going to cover the transform tools. So if I click on the polygon shelf and add some uh, simple geometric forms here, um, let's see, I'll move one over here, maybe add another one over here, uh, maybe one more here. You'll notice that I'm clicking on and transforming these tools without clicking any of the tool buttons over here. Uh, that's because I'm going by the hotkey. But um, the hotkeys are W, E, and R for move, rotate, and scale. And they're all located over here on the left. So if you don't like hotkeys, you can always click on each of them to activate them. Uh, the way it works, when you have an object selected, uh, you have essentially three axes. The X, Y, and Z axis, which is uh, basically uh, illustrated here in the bottom left corner. And uh, if you remember from simple math and geometry, the X and Y was the, um, the width and the length, and then the depth came from the Z axis here, and that's what gives us the three dimension. It just happens to be tilted in the other direction. Uh, y is always up in uh, Maya, but other 3D programs, Z will, or Z, will be in the up direction. So all you gotta do to move objects is grab one of these arrows and you can essentially move them pretty easily in 3D space. Now be wary of the center. If you click in here, you're essentially moving all three transforms at the same time, which by the way, you can see in the channel box here. If you don't see your channel box open, there are three tabs on the right here, and the first one is the channel box. Just click on it, and uh, here you have, once you select an object, it says P Taurus 1, there are the transforms. Now by default, the translate and the rotate ones are set to zero. So if I highlight these and type in zero, it'll center this object back on the stage here. So you can see here. Now notice the grid is right in between. So if you had a plane, for example, and I'll scale this one up, you can see that the object is not sitting on the plane, which represents the grid. It's actually sitting exactly midway between the two, right? So you can snap to your ortho views by hitting the space bar, zoom in, and then move the objects that you want above that plane. So I can select any of these and do that. So the um, transform tools are really powerful. Again, the move tool, which is the one you're going to use a lot, is W. The, uh, these little widgets in between basically represent two axes, by the way. So if I click on this one, it's moving only in the X and Y versus the Y and Z, or I'm sorry, X and Z versus the Y and Z. I don't really find them that useful, um, particularly, so I don't typically use them. I always try and grab from the arrows, right there, there, and there. By the way, if you can't see your, or grab your little arrows, you can hit the plus key to increase the size, so if you need to increase it a little bit, this is obviously way too big, or you can hit the minus key to shrink them. So if you find it's a little bit too big, you can hit the minus or hit the plus if you need to grab it. So um, that's the move tool. Let's go to the rotation tool, which has the hot key of E. You can see it here selected. And the way this works, it's sort of a um, spherical widget, which has the X, Y, and Z. And you just grab any of these and, and you can rotate in 3D space. Now the outside circle represents all three rotations at the same time. Notice as I drag it, all of these kind of basically randomly rotate. You really don't have much control by grabbing the outside, so I always recommend grabbing these individual ones or click on any of these attributes and then middle click in the stage and hold the middle mouse button down. You can rotate in the X, the Y, the Z axis, uh, axes, all of them at the same time. You can even translate that way. So each of these, the X, Y, and Z, again, middle click, mouse down as I drag inside here. Uh, you just have to have the, the, um, the transform selected. You can again highlight all these and just type in zero. And that will again center you up on the stage here. The scale, it notice is set to one here. It seems peculiar. You're like, why isn't that set to zero? You know, if I typed in, uh, highlight these, and typed in zero, what happens? Whoa, well, the form is gone. What's going on here? So realize that in um, Maya, 
all things are set to one for their natural scale. It seems a little peculiar in the beginning, but you'll get it later on as you work more and more with it. Again, the scale tool has a hotkey of R, which again is right here, this tool here. If you click on the center cube here, you'll scale uniformly, meaning that you will not distort the original form. Notice that I scale up or down, all of these three numbers are changing at the same time. However, if you grab the X, Y, or Z cube, any of these, you'll end up distorting the form. So you'll essentially squish squash it. This sometimes can be useful in terms of modeling. You can do that with any of the forms here. So you can see what happens when you squish this cone or this uh, torus here. All right. And anytime you want to, again, bring them back to their original state, all you got to do is highlight them and type 1. So click on it, highlight, type 1. Looks like I gotta highlight them again, hit one, click on this one, highlight it, and type one. All right, so that's the basic introduction to the transform tools. The only thing I wanted to share, besides you know where they're located, how to work with them, is if you double click on each of them, they do have properties that open up in the tool settings. And mine came off into my other monitor here, but I'll drag it over so you can see it. And what this is, is it basically has all kinds of different options here in terms of how we see it. Its particular axis is set to the world view versus um, the individual object view. So the world view is this little widget here. The object would be centered around the object itself. And there are some, you know, very custom sort of things you can do in here. For example, you can open up soft selection and check that little box. But this is more to deal with modeling, so we won't get into these individual settings. But you can always double click on the tool and click the reset tool, and that will reset it to its um, original state, each of these. Just click the reset, okay? Double click, click the reset. That's the basic overview of the transform tools. Again, the hotkeys are W, E, and R for the translate, the rotate, and the scale. Until next time, see you soon in Autodesk Maya. Cheers!